Alien Con is coming to the Baltimore Convention Center this weekend and joining us live in the studio to talk about it is Giorgio Sukulos from the History Channel's Ancient Aliens. Everyone is so excited you're here today. Yes, this is great and I'm happy to be in Baltimore. Hello, Baltimore. Very cool. So what can we expect from Alien Con? Well, Alien Con, this will be the first time it'll be on the East Coast. So I invite everyone to come on down. Tickets are still available and it's going to be a tremendous convention that uh, explores the ancient mysteries of the world, modern day UFOs, and also it combines the whole entertainment idea of these topics. So it's a perfect marriage between you know what may have happened in our ancient mm -hmm. past and what happened in reality. Yeah, so when you say that marriage, you're, you're talking some actors from some fun sci-fi shows, plus scientists, right? Yes, so we've got uh, Michael Dorn there from Star Trek. Yeah. We've got uh, Robert Picardo there also from Star Trek. Um, not Jean-Luc Picard. Not, That's important distinction quite. here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but also we have all the experts from Ancient Aliens will be there. For example, Eric von Daniken, who wrote Chariots of the Gods 50 years ago. He will be there. You can come take a photo with him. You can have, sign an autograph and all of this. So, uh, and all the other members of Ancient Aliens will be there as well. All right, you have been all over the world in search of answers. Mm -hmm. So what is the, well, first of all, what's the number one thing that's astounded you? So that's always the same place I go back to. It's in the highlands of Bolivia, a little town called Tiwanaku. Outside of there you have Puma Punku, and there you have these gigantic blocks made of basalt and red sandstone, sorry, um, andesite, not mm -hmm. basalt. And um, they are so huge that you have to wonder how were they worked, and number two, how were they transported? So it's just a, a gigantic question. And I go there all the time, and I still to this day uh, can't quite figure it out. It's so fascinating. So when you do these alien cons, uh, what's the number one question that people want to ask you? There are too many. Too many. But <laughs> what I find wonderful is that people come up to me and they confide uh, in me their stories mm -hmm. of their abduction or UFO experiences. And oftentimes people say, oh, come on, they're just lying. But that's not true in my opinion because these people, you can see that their demeanor is changing, the breathing changes, the lips are trembling, the, the eyes may be watering up. So it's uh, definitely uh, uh, something happened to these people. So, you know, who knows what it was. Absolutely. So if you want tickets, where do you go? TheAlienCon.com. Tickets are still available, and I will see you there. It's a great thing for the entire family. And let's face it, when you go to these things, you want to buy the swag. So tell me there are vendors there. Oh, absolutely. There's an entire marketplace with, I think, over 100 booths or something like this. All different um, things for sale and, and products. Uh, you know, some of them alien related, not everything. So. <laughs> It's a great time for the whole family. All right, good place for like-minded people to head out to. Yes. All right, thanks so much for coming in. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Very, appreciate very nice it. to meet you. you.